Earlier today, I was cleaning my apartment and I realized something incredible. I realized that I could use this mop stick as a barbell. So today, let's go train shoulders. Welcome back everyone. Today, we're training shoulders at home, no gym equipment necessary. Now, if you missed my last video where I talked about my four training principles for at-home workouts, be sure to go back and watch that video as we'll be using those four principles during today's shoulder workout. Now, as I mentioned, for today's workout, we don't need any gym equipment, but we are gonna have to use some common house products that we should have laying around the house in order to simulate some gym equipment. Specifically, to simulate dumbbells, we're gonna have to use two bottles of laundry detergent or two gallon water jugs or anything else in your house that weighs about the same and preferably has handles on it. Next, to simulate a barbell, like I showed you in the intro, we're gonna use a mop or a broomstick and attach it to a loaded backpack as we did with the at-home chest workout. So we'll slide the stick through the backpack handles and we now have a weighted barbell that will allow us to do bilateral exercises. Other than that, we use our body weight and our old friend gravity for the rest of the exercises. So before we get to the workout, let's quickly talk about some basic anatomy and biomechanics of the shoulders to more effectively target this muscle group. Now the shoulder is the most complex joint in the human body as it has five articulations or joints. And the joint which we'll focus on today is called the glenohumeral joint in which the primary movers are the deltoid muscles. Now the deltoids are comprised of three main heads. First, we have the anterior head or the front head. Then we have the medial head or the middle head. And lastly, we have the posterior or the rear head. Now because the glenohumeral joint is a ball and socket joint, it can move in all three planes of motion, and therefore, we'll choose our exercises accordingly. The anterior head lies along the front of the glenohumeral joint and is a primary mover for shoulder flexion, or bringing the upper arm bone to the front of the body. Now, the medial head lies along the side of the joint and therefore is a primary mover for abduction, or raising the upper arm bone to the side of the body. Last, the posterior head lies along the back of the joint and is therefore a primary mover for horizontal abduction, we're bringing the upper arm bone horizontally from the middle line of the body to the sides of the body. So we'll start with the multi-joint exercises first, or the exercises that require movement from more than one joint. And movement at more than one joint means that we're using more muscles to complete the exercise, which means that we're strongest on these exercises and therefore can place the most overload on them while we're fresh. Now let's get to the workout. To simulate the barbell bench press, the first exercise we'll do is the pike push-up, as shown here. We'll use our body weight and gravity to provide resistance for this exercise. Now if this exercise is too hard, Try doing the kneeling push away as shown here. We'll do three sets to muscle failure with 30 to 45 seconds of complete or active rest between each set. The next multi-joint exercise we'll do is the barbell or broomstick upright row as shown here. Load the backpack as heavy as possible to maximize the external resistance that we have. Again, we'll do three sets to muscle failure with 30 to 45 seconds of complete or active rest between each set. Lastly, to better target each head of the deltoid, We'll try to isolate the three different heads by performing single joint or isolation exercises for each head. To save time and increase workout intensity, we'll do these three exercises as a triset or three exercises for the same muscle group performed back to back to back with no rest in between the three exercises. We'll do three tri-sets with 30 to 45 seconds of complete or active rest between each tri-set. For the posterior head, we'll do the bent over water jug lateral raises, which requires horizontal abduction. Be sure to bend over with the torso parallel to the floor to better act against gravity which as we know, provides force vertically downward upon us. For the medial head, we'll do the laundry soap or water jug lateral raises, which requires abduction at the shoulder joint. And for the anterior head, we'll do the laundry soap or water jug front raises, which requires shoulder flexion. Job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a son of 101, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. All I know, ten toes, never fold, bang roll, on the go, ice hole, ice hole, ice hole. Can't for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real, can't play pretend. Ain't the fans, I get it in. On the FaceTime, I need it all for them, so no, I cannot waste time. Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline. We trust the process, and my only know it takes time. You can get it, 
Got no worries, I'm gon' make mine Going global, I'ma get it out the state lines Paying taxes at a mortar, what you may not Different bracket, eating off a different plate now I need my hands, this life is real If they pretend, came off the bench I get it in, I get it in, I get it in I get it in, get it in for my wings, I need my hands This life is real, can't play pretend Came off the bench, I get it in And there you have it. A complete shoulder workout completed at home with no gym equipment needed. For my PE classes, here's the prompt for today's responses. Feel free to pause the video and check them out. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Stay safe and I'll see you in Wednesday's video.